A ball is attached to the end of a string. It is swung in a vertical circle of radius 2.25 meters. What is the minimum velocity that the ball must have to make it around the circle? So the first thing that we're going to do is demonstrate the path that our object is following, which is a circular path. So here we've shown as a dotted circle the path that our object is following. This here is the center of our circle and we're showing that we have our ball attached to a string here of length 2.25 meters which gives rise to a circle of radius 2.25 meters. Now the ball for all intents and purposes we're going to say is green ball attached to the end of our string. Now the unique point that we want to discuss is at its highest point on the circle. At this point the tension in the string is equal to zero newtons, but all the other forces are still there. So we still have the weight pulling down, so mg down, and we still have a centripetal directed toward the center of the circle. Now if we apply Newton's second law, so the net force is equal to ma centripetal, we find that the force of tension plus mg is equal to ma centripetal. Now this is considering down to be the positive direction. So down here we would find if we see that we can ignore the tension we would see that mg is equal to ma centripetal. We can then cancel out both m's because they're on both sides so if we divide one side by m the other side will then be divided by m leaving us with g is equal to the centripetal acceleration. Remember, however, that the centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared over r. So we now have that v squared over r is equal to g. So what we want to know is what is the minimum velocity. So we want to solve for just v. So we're going to multiply both sides by r, giving us v squared is equal to g times r. And then we want just v, so we're going to take the square root of both sides. This will give us v is equal to the square root of g times r. Now if we plug in the initial values and our given values, acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, and our radius is 2.25 meters. We would find after the multiplication and the square root that our velocity is approximately equal to 4.69 meters per second. This corresponds to an answer choice of C. So the velocity that the ball must have to make it around a circle of radius 2.25 meters is answer C, 4.69 meters per second.